I'm just about to head out the door, obviously, but big announcement that I have heard a lot of people say they want to hear my opinion on. And to be honest, I want to divulge that opinion. Uh, deep breath now. Thief 4 cometh, Rageaholics. And what a cartoonishly long pause they took before finally twisting the lid off that fucking time capsule, huh? Four butt-fucking years? Jesus in a skirt. Like, I've taken a nice long while to process the news. I've screen seen the screenshots. Uh, I've read the Game Informer article. And I'm happy to say it's the first time I've bothered with a Game Informer since before this game was fucking announced, but I think I've at last sufficiently digested the other, the other day's flurry of announcements, and it is officially time to drop trow and yield my ultimate result. In the all-in-all, all, I am excited enough to pulverize sheetrock with my genitals in a single thrust, but the announcement wasn't without its more controversial moments, and I'm convinced that most of those are perfectly justified as well. For one thing, the obvious, dim-witted, and repeated comparisons to Dishonored. Now, obviously, the simple response to the bovine shitheels who continue to level this contention is to simply state the obvious fact that Thief was a highly successful, multi-platinum selling video game series before Dishonored was so much as a, as a gleam and Harvey Smith's douche smirk. But understand what I say when I say the following. I do so as someone who is well acquainted with the Thief series. I'm well acquainted with its developmental history, and I'm deeply acquainted with the modding culture of the game at large. But the Dishonored comparisons? They're kind of apt. Thief the Dark Project doesn't look like Dishonored. Thief 2 the Metal Age doesn't look like Dishonored, and don't say it's only hardware limitations that are frustrating any obvious visual comparisons, because 2004's Thief Deadly Shadows isn't far behind Dishonored in, te in a technical sense, and it still doesn't fucking look like Dishonored. Frankly, this is a bit of an art design failure on Eidos Montreal's part. I mean, for one thing, what's with all the fucking daytime? That's a good three quarters of Thief's overall visual identity. Every square inch of the medieval meets Victorian setting was just wreathed in these deep, inky, obsidian pools of shadow. And as I look at these screenshots, I'm not seeing any of that. Is it a deal breaker for me? Fuck no. Look, I'm still harder than Ellen Page's Adam's apple. The game looks gorgeous. And in the overall, I think Thief 4 is light years beyond the visually disappointing Dishonored. Now, my only major point of contention can be explained in a mere two words, and those are focus mode. I didn't hear a single fucking thing I liked when the developers turned to the subject of focus mode, which you can see in the screenshot just above me. So wait, much like the abhorrent and violently fucking disappointing Hitman Absolution, you build up focus meter, presumably by performing arbitrary tasks of some description, which you can then expend to the press of a button in order to highlight every interactive object in your immediate field of view, every container that contains loot, speed up the process of lockpicking, and herein lies the rub. <sighs> perform needlessly garish contextual first-person executions which are visually inspired by, and it grieves me to say this, but Guy Ritchie Sherlock fucking Holmes movies. Eidos Montreal, I want to make it perfectly clear, I bear you no ill will and consider 99% of what I read in that article to be massively encouraging, but I'd be remiss in my duties if I didn't conclude this sentence with a hearty what the fuck? Guy Ritchie Sherlock Holmes. G Guy Ri I'd rather you use the great fucking mouse detective as visual inspiration. Those movies eat ass from an ass while riding an ass. And those god-awful action sequences are 80 to 90% of the reason why they do so. You mean to tell me the Thief series went from being inspired by masterpieces like The City of Lost Children, The Maltese Falcon, and The Third Man to Guy fucking Ritchie Sherlock Holmes? Stefan Roy, I mean you no ill will, I mean you no harm, but if you continue to say these things, I will be forced to feed you this fucking magazine. Consider this a formal request. Please fucking remove that feature. Last but some distance from least, I further worry if the game is truly a next-gen exclusive. I mean, while we've received no explicit statements purporting the game will not be released for 360 and PS3, I seriously do worry in this gaming economy with the launch of systems that essentially have zero titles that anyone is looking forward to on day one, and in all likelihood being sold at a price point that will preclude their success out of the gate. 
that Idols Montreal will make the grave error of releasing Thief 4 as an exclusive to a generation of gaming that fewer people are going to purchase than ever. Because if that's the long walk you're planning on taking, I'm warning you guys right now, the ultimate destination is the motherfucking gallows, okay? The planets could align, hell could freeze the fuck over, and the devil could give free sleigh rides, and there would still be no conceivable way you make your money back with Thief 4 as a next-gen exclusive. No way. This game launches in 2014, less than a year after these systems launch, with as low of install bases as these systems are likely to have. You are taking some deep, long fucking drags off that crack pipe if you sincerely believe that's a recipe for success, Idols Montreal. Particularly as nothing I'm seeing in these screenshots or descriptions looks like anything profoundly next-gen. You would have to be brain-dead or concussed or both not to bring these games to PS3 or 360. Massive fucking mistake, but again unconfirmed. One thing I want you all to take away from this is that I'm not looking for you to fail, Eidos Montreal. With Deus Ex Human Revolution, you guys, albeit a different team of you guys, pulled off the nigh impossible. You simultaneously popularized and enriched one of the most complex video game franchises in the history of the medium and restored it to its deserved prominence. Execute the same with Thief and you will hear nothing but praise from yours truly. But much like with that maligned, piss-yellow highlight from Deus Ex 3, there needs to be some room for collaboration here with the focus mode. A game called Thief cannot carry this feature into its final build, not with those combat applications. So all together now, Rageaholics. Hey, hey! Ho, ho! Focus mode has got to go! Look, I apologize for those dance moves, but either kill it or perform that mercy killing on this game. I'm Razor Fist God. Fucking speed!